Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile a credit card with sub accounts. This is not the only way to approach this topic. This is just the way that I do it. So we have a make believe credit card statement for SunTrust. Free brief moment, we shall be John Smith. We will have three team members who have access to our credit card account, each of them with a credit card in their pocket. Our team members are John Smith, Jane Doe, and Larry Hall. During the course of this month, each of these people had purchases that they made and they've been entered into QuickBooks. So let me navigate over to QuickBooks. When I look at the balance sheet, I can see that I have these three cardholder accounts, each of them with balances on the right, 1600, 2300, and 1400. Let me just go back to the credit card statements. You can see where those exist. There's the 2300, the 1600, and the 1400. So what I did in an earlier video was that I converted this um, in Make Believe Land. I converted it to an Excel document. In real life, it started out as an Excel document. I then took my Excel document and converted it to a CSV file that I could then upload to QuickBooks. So now we're at the part where we need to reconcile the account. What I like to do is have them all as standalone accounts and not as sub accounts. I like to transfer their balances individually over to the primary or the corporate account. And then I like to reconcile all my sub accounts as well as my corporate account. So I'm going to walk you through what I like to do. I'm going to go to accounting on the left and then to reconcile. I am going to pick my first person. My first person is John Smith. So I'm going to type John because it's just faster than scrolling. Because this is a corporate account, every month the balance on John's card resets to zero and any charges that were on John's credit card, those balances shifted up to the corporate card. I always say up because I think about the bank statement where it started down below is John's and then the balance moves up to the corporate. That's really what I'm imagining. So my ending balance, how much money does John's credit card owe? At, at the moment that the statement is generated. Well, at the moment the statement is generated, John's credit card has a balance of this many dollars. It's because that's the current charges. It doesn't matter what John has spent over the months and years before now, because all of John's balances moved up to the corporate card. When we make a payment on the corporate credit card, we don't get to tell SunTrust, put $50 on John and $50 on Jane and $50 on Larry. SunTrust is like, whatever, I'm just putting this money towards your corporate account. So I, I just take this amount, I'm going to copy and paste it. So then my ending date is the date that appears on my statement. It is not today's date. It's not the date that I wish it would be. It's not the end of the month. It is the date on the statement. So in this case, 3-1. It's important that you pick the ending date as it appears on the statement because your statement might have a different ending date than what you expect it to have. I'm just going to get rid of this one time pop ups. All right. So my John credit card, what I'm doing when I reconcile is that I'm going to verify that every single charge that is on my bank statement appears on my QuickBooks. I know that sounds kind of silly, but I'm going to say it again everything that is on my statement should be in my QuickBooks. Sometimes what happens is people just pick all of the things and they're like, oh, why does my difference go to zero? Like what's going on? I have a whole different video and probably a couple of videos that explain reconciliation. So I'm not going to deep dive into that. Just leave it where I've said it already. So I'm going to say finish now. I have now compared the John registering QuickBooks against the John state the John section on the bank statement. I'm going to repeat this process for the Jane and for the Larry. When I go to my credit card reconciliation summary, I can see that I reconciled the John, the Jane, and the Larry against the statement ending 3-1-2022. That's fantastic. Now I need to reconcile my corporate card. 
I'm going to change the drop down to the SunTrust credit card because that's the name that I've given the corporate credit cards. My ending balance on the corporate credit card, that's going to be um, over here, my amount due. So this is my ending balance. This is how much money I owe my corporate credit card. My date is 3 one When I click on Start Reconciling, I'll see that I have absolutely zero transactions here. I have zero transactions here because all of the transactions live in my sub credit card accounts. So I'm just going to click on Save for later. And I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to show it to you. So there's a handful of ways of doing the next step. I like this one because I think it best illustrates what to do. I'm going to click on the blue hyperlink that says credit card register. I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to pick each of my registers. So I'll start with Jane because alphabetically it's first. On the left hand side it says add credit card expense. I'm just going to say transfer. Please transfer the balance of this credit card over to the corporate card. So here's what I'm doing. I'm saying make a payment to Jane's credit card of $1,600. That payment is a transfer where I'm going to transfer the balance to the SunTrust credit card. By doing this, I now show that the Jane credit card resets and has a balance of $0. If I come over here to the SunTrust credit card, I can see the credit card has a balance of $1,600. I'm going to do that for the other two credit cards. All right, so I've recorded the transfer from the Jane credit card register, from the John credit card register, and from the Larry credit card register. I can see now that my, my SunTrust credit card has a balance of $5,500. I'm going to select Reconcile. Because I previously entered everything and saved it, it's all just sitting here waiting for me. I can select all, select all. The reason that I don't need to look at the individual charges is because I've already verified the individual charges when I reconciled each of the credit cards individually. I don't need to worry about the math working out because if it didn't work, this wouldn't come to zero. So from here, I just click on finish now. It says you finished, congratulations. Let me take you back to the balance sheet, which is where we started in the first place because I want you to see how it changes. So now when I look at it, the Jane credit card has zero balance, the John credit card has a zero balance, the Larry credit card has a zero balance, and the SunTrust credit card has a balance of $5,500. If I go back to my bank statement, that is exactly the amount of due, that is exactly the amount due on my SunTrust credit card. I like doing it this way because I like to be able to quickly and easily see what's happening within my registers. I find that if I use a sub account, I am very likely to make a mistake. And if I do make a mistake, it's very difficult for me to go back through the register and pinpoint, did the mistake happen on the corporate card? Did the mistake happen on the sub account or the sub register? Each to their own. So hopefully this helps you. My, my goal in showing you this is not to tell you this is the only way to do it, but rather to show you what I do and more than that, to walk you through the logic of how I do it and why I do it this way. I hope that as you're working with credit cards that have a corporate account and sub accounts, this helps you understand the flow of the credit card so you can then find the best way for you to approach it within your QuickBooks. If you have any questions or if there's anything my team and I can help you with, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find us at gentlefrog.com or you can leave a comment down below. We will post a link to our blog with step-by-step -step instructions in the details for this YouTube video. Thank you so much.